two best teams in the Bell's first division slug it out for top spot with just one point separating them. So the stakes are high here at Brockville and there's plenty of firepower on both sides to suggest we'll see goals this afternoon. Through ball finds Barry Robson, there could be danger here for Falkirk if Robson can keep on his feet. He was well tracked by Jamie McCulkin. On this near side is Ross Tokley, early chance now to get the ball into the area for Inverness. And that's an, an astonishing start to this game because Inverness are ahead. And that's an own goal from Scott McKenzie. It's surely beyond the wildest dreams of Graham Bennett. The ball went out wide for Tokley as he sent it in. There was Scott McKenzie stretching for the ball. All he could do was put it past his own goalkeeper, Alan Ferguson. Ready, long ball, looking for Colin Samuel. Samuel, he's got space, he's got Owen Coyle up with him and John Henry, and it goes. Comes from Lee Billy at the far post, great save. The follow up from John Henry was wide, but that goes down as a very good save by Mark Brown. Good effort by Miller at the far post. Took it first time, Brown did well. All the big men up for Falkirk now. Hughes, Rennie both there, and Miller, and Miller with a header off the line. And that is another corner. Lee Miller attacked the ball well, looks as if it was going in, but cleared off the ball. by Richie Hart. So once more the chance to get that ball into the penalty area. In comes the free kick. Back out to the edge, Mark Kerr puts it in now, Samuel, is there a chance to get the ball into the folk at forwards, I think he'll be quite happy to take the corner in this instance. Concentration in the middle as the corner is about to come over, Craig McPherson swings it in. It'll come back out to the folk at number 10, now going to the byline. Good cross this time, is there a header for Falker? has come from John Hughes and Falkirk are level. Now John Hughes got above everybody inside that penalty area. The cross from Craig McPherson was perfection. And Big Yogi was up to make it 1-1. Ball swung in, it's come back out again. Kerr with a shot, that wasn't far away from the left-hand post of Mark Brown. Shot from Mark Kerr. Brown could only watch it whistle past his left hand post. Long ball forward looking for Winus. Scott McKenzie has done well, so too has Alan Ferguson. Falkirk can things down, get the ball forward. Certainly the Crokin. Kerr trying to do so, oh, it's a loose ball from Kerr, now a real chance for Inverness, could this be number two, Barry Robson, down he goes, and that's a great save from Alan Ferguson, he showed safe hands there, he timed the interception to perfection, never a chance of a penalty, and that goes down, it's a great save from Ferguson, it could have been so much worse for Falkirk. Person flights in the free kick. Miller doesn't get his head to the ball. Comes out for John Henry. Stephen Rennie can't quite get the shot in in the turn as the half time whistle goes here at Brockville. So, all squared at Brockville. The next 45 minutes will determine who leads the Bell's first division this week. Falkirk responded well to Kelly's opening goal, but signs at the end of the first half that the Highland side can still be dangerous. So, it's all to play for over the next 45. Well, the one-two didn't work out. Owen Coyle trying to get something moving for Falkirk. He's done well. It's Mark Kerr for Samuel. Nice move by Samuel. Good feet to Owen Coyle. A chance for Falkirk. It's come back off the post, but the flag was up on this near side. Owen Coyle caught offside. Kerr threaded through for Coyle. A chance now for Falkirk. 
Good speed showed by Stuart Golovec. He tidied up well. Grant the goal will complete the clearance. And still, Falkirk come forwards. Still a chance. Samuel could direct the header forward. It was a decent ball in. Colin Samuel in space. And his header ended up some six yards wide, but that was a real chance for the home side. Now Roy McBain on the run down the left, but challenged by Lee Miller. That's good tracking back by the number eight for Falkirk. And now Wynas, the number eight for Inverness. Swung it across, but Miller in late. There'll be a foul. And Lee Miller just back from suspension. The last thing he needs is a yellow card. There's plenty of white shirts up looking for this one as Robson sends it in. And the header into the side net. Falkirk trying to get the ball into the penalty area. There's still a chance for a winner for either side here. Lee Miller got his head to the ball. Could direct it goalwards. And ball. And the final whistle at Brockville. It's very much a case of as you were at the top of the Bells first division. The top two. All square at the end of 90 minutes. The early goal for Inverness from Scott McKenzie with the own goal. John Hughes making it one each. That's the way it stayed. Falkirk probably had most of the game. Certainly Inverness had the best of the chances. But the final score, Falkirk won, Inverness won.